guys welcome back to my channel unique tell this is going to be a you versus your person reading let me see who's going next who am i called to do next who am i called to do next libra okay so this is for this is a you versus your person reading for the sign of libra Okay, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. If you hear laughing and talking, that's my son and his friend in his room, so try to tune that out, please. This is a you versus your person reading for the sign of Libra. Okay. Spirit guides, angels, universe, what's the messages for my Libras? What's the messages for my Libras? Please. Libras, please. What's the messages for my Libras? Okay. Let's see what's coming out for my Libras, please, Spirit. Libra feel toward their person. How does Libra feel toward their person? Right? King of Swords. King of Wands. Queen of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So Libra. I feel like you could be dealing with, um, this is your energy, this air energy here. You could be dealing with a fire sign, air Leo, Sagittarius, or earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But I feel like Libra, um, you could it's a couple of things you could have two people here wanting to make you an offer here two males two masculines here an air sign and a fire sign or this could be your energy it doesn't go by gender it goes by energy it goes by uh, energy so this cut this king of wands is looking over here at this air sign or for some of you you could be in a same-sex relationship is what i was saying Okay, so two masculines, but, um, or you could have, or you could, um, yeah, you could have a decision between two masculines here that want to offer you something solid, or you could be dealing with a fire sign here, Libra. Um, okay, so you're feeling towards your person. How you feel about your person, Libra, is that, um, They need to come in. They, they take. They t took too long to make an offer toward you. So now you're looking elsewhere. You have your sword out. This person could have took too long. Okay. So at this point, you're you're looking elsewhere. Okay. Because you're looking for a commitment, something solid here, somebody to offer you something, somebody that can add to your abundance. Okay that can add to what you're building upon, somebody that can that can help nourish your dreams. And if somebody is taking forever the Knight of Pentacles to make you a solid offer, the King or Queen of Swords does not wait. They cut out from that energy. They cut out and they move on. So you could be moving toward a fire sign here. We're gonna clarify, but you have something new. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles rep represents something new. This new opportunity here, you could have been waiting for for quite some time here. Yeah. Yeah, you're ending, you're ending. You could be looking toward the new here, making a solid offer. Somebody wants to come in and make you a solid offer here, though. Could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. 
probably a Sagittarius. You wanted to come in and make you a solid offer here. Okay. And this person took a long time in making this offer you feel. This is how you feel towards your person that they took forever to make, they're taking forever to make an offer toward you. So you're going to just kind to work on yourself and do you and not worry about what this other person has going on. And how does uh, Libra's person feel toward Libra? How does Libra's person feel toward Libra? How does Libra's person feel toward Libra? Okay. How does Libra's person feel toward Libra, please? How does Libra's person feel toward Libra? How does Libra's person feel toward Libra? How does Libra's person feel? Okay. So we have the Seven of Swords, the Seven of Cups, the Page of Wands, the Page of Cups, and the Knight of Cups. So your person feels here that you're sneaky. This could be vice versa though, Libra. Flip the rolls if you have to. Your person feels like you're sneaky, like you like to keep a lot of options here, like you like to play games and create a lot of illusions. Okay, you could be seeing 7-7 seven, seven here. I'm hearing 707 for some people. Okay, or 717. But anyways, um, yeah, your 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 person feels Libra. Um, that you could be very immature. You like to keep a lot of options. You like to play mind games, create a, a lot of illusions. Very immature with this page of wands and page of cups and knight of cups. Okay? But your person feels that you um, want to come in, that you want to message them. Okay? you could, This person be, could be uh, secretly watching you online as well. The page of wands is online. That's a, that's a post. This person could be watching what you post online or wondering where you went online here. Okay, because this person seems confused. Seven of Cups is online. Page of Wands is an online. So somebody's watching you in secret here. What you post, what you put on. It could be your channel, YouTube channel, Instagram, whatever. But somebody's coming in wanting to apologize. See, you're in the energy of um, wanting kings to come through. We want kings, solid offers here. Queen of Pentacles, King of Wands, King of Swords. You're very much Libra in your your grown, your grown man shit. You want stability. You want to build something of perm permanency with this Knight of Pentacles. And your person is more in an immature energy. Lying, sneaking around, many options, still creating illusions. You got two pages here in the Knight of Cups. I don't fuck with knights. Because the Knight of Cups can be a hoe. They're going to come in, charm you, tell you what you want to hear. Oh, I'm so sorry with the Page of Cups. But these are broken promises. These pages, they fizzle out. They come in and they tell you this and that. But it fizzles out. These are promises that don't stand. But if you're dealing with a king or a queen, that is more solid. That is somebody that is serious and ready. So, Libra, you feel like your person is... um on their shit. They're fiery, they're an entrepreneur, they have money in abundance, they're working toward their future, and your person feels, this is how your person feels, feel free to flip the roles, okay? Your person feels that you're sneaky, you have a lot of options, you like to create illusions, you're childish, you don't want to make solid offers here, you come in, you charm, you say what you have to say, and then you're back out. Yeah. Three so as you come in, Okay, you create heartbreak. You keep this person stuck. You, this person, you make this person feel stuck in a in a betrayal energy. Three swords could represent third party energy, but you, this person feels you keep them stuck in, yeah, yeah. And then we got the three of cups right behind that. Definitely third party in, um, energy that you are dropping here, Libra, or your other person is, or this could be the other person. But with the King of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. I feel like somebody could also be married here. The King and Queen of Pentacles could be a married couple. So somebody could lie about being married and, or even having kids, maybe two kids. Somebody wants to come in now and apologize for that. But I'm seeing you, I, I, I don't know. I don't, I feel like with this queen, this King of Swords out here, I guess you you like, like be careful how you approach because it's going to be off with your motherfucking head if you keep playing. Okay? It's going to be off with your shit. 
So what's the outcome for Libra and their person? What's the outcome for Libra and their person, please? What is the outcome for Libra and their person? So one person is ready for commitment to settle down and have something long distance. I mean, um, long distance, something of longevity, something that is solid. And the other person is still playing, confused, not sure what they want, want to be in and out, sneaky, a liar, giving broken promises, not, you know, charming and playing around. So this, this energy is just totally opposite here. This is solid, solid, grown woman energy, and this is very immature, sneaky, lying energy. So what's the um what's the what's the outcome for Libra and their person? What's the outcome? What's the outcome for Libra and their person? What is the outcome for Libra and their person, please? What is the outcome for Libra and their person? There we go. Beautiful nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So we have the eight of pentacles here, the queen of wands, the ten of cups, and the empress. Okay, so we do have the king to the queen of wands. So, but we also have another queen here. So, like I said, king and queen of wands that could be um, twin flame or soulmate energy or some two people that are married, whatever. But, or this could be okay, your person can be coming to the realization or you that they, you know, they're, they're in a marriage. But they feel this connection with someone else. This is a twin flame soulmate connection right here. Okay? And somebody, the mutual energy or the outcome is that, you know, possibly if somebody can learn to be honest and, 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 and forward and upfront, that possibly you could work on this union. Because you, you bring this, you guys make each other very happy here. And with the Empress, somebody is really looking beautiful. The Queen of Wands and the Empress, that's somebody sexy as fuck. Your person finds you to be breathtakingly beautiful. Queen of Wands and the Page of Wands, with that Page, I mean, and the Queen of Wands and the Empress and the Page of Wands, that is somebody that's like a model. They're fit, their body is amazing, their skin is beautiful, they're abundant, hard working. The Empress can manifest absolutely anything. She's sovereign over all the queens in the game, the Empress, okay? Period, point blank. She's the, embodied, she's the embodiment of the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. When you meet an Empress, you'll never find anybody like her. Her love is unmatched. And then with the Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, yeah, this person this person sees you, Libra, as in um, pre-Empress energy, Empress energy as well. Okay? With the Devil in the Reverse and the Moon. The Knight of Swords and the Nine of Swords. I feel like this person is very frustrated, possibly, because you've turned your energy away from them here. Okay? What's the messages? I need to clarify this really quick. Let's clarify Libra and their person. Let's clarify for Libra and their person. Somebody could also be, yeah, like I said, married with children here. They could have lied about that. They could have created illusions around that. Okay? Messages for Libra and their person, please. What is the King of Swords? King of Swords? Seven of Cups. Yeah, the Queen King of Swords cuts through the fucking illusions that this person tries to play. Okay, you cut through that shit. You, can, you should never try to play an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay? Because they rule the cere cerebral cortex, the brain. They can, they can cut through any of your bullshit. Ain't no way that you can play them or try to outsmart them. They may think, they may let you think that you are, but you're not in all actuality. They're letting you think you are so that they can one-up your ass, but you could never have an e-advantage on, the, on them, period. Okay? What is the King of Wands? What is this King of Wands looking at? What is the King of Wands here? Yeah, Seven of Wands. This, this Sagittarius energy, you're very defensive for your... De very defensive from you're blocking out. Yeah, you turned your back with three wands. This could be somebody at a distance from you. Okay. What is the Queen of Pentacles? What is the Queen of Pentacles? The Fool. Yeah, you're starting off. You're abundant. You're beautiful. You're starting off a new life somewhere else. Okay. What's the Knight of Pentacles? What's the Knight of Pentacles? 
the two of pentacles. Yeah, somebody was juggling, okay? And you've known this with the knight of pentacles for quite some time. This person has been doing this for quite some time with the knight of pentacles. They were juggling. That's why they didn't make a decision towards you. They wasn't sure if they wanted to start anew with you with this fool on top of the queen of pentacles. This could be somebody that they're married to, but they want to start a new beginning here. Okay, what is the seven of swords? For my Libras, what's the seven of swords? We have the temperance. Okay. Yeah, you're balanced. You're not letting the lies, the secrets, and the bullshit uh, bother you at all. We got the seven of swords out again. The seven of cups and the seven of swords. Somebody created a lot of illusion. Let me see, what's the Seven of Cups and the Seven of Swords? Yeah, the Knight of Cups. Somebody wants to apologize for the lies. They want to come in because they're left out in the cold here. Okay? They're left out in the cold. They want to apologize for creating these illusions, for having these options, for not committing, for not being truthful, for not being honest. This is somebody that's very much a liar and a cheat and a sneak that you're dealing with. A thief as well. What's the Page of Wands? For my Libra, what's the Page of Wands? We have the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, the tables are turned. Now this person wants to come in messaging you. Yep, Page of Wands at the bottom of the deck again. They want to come in messaging you. What's the Wheel of Fortune in the Page of Wands? Wheel of Fortune in the Page of Wands. We have the Knight of Wands. Yeah, they want to come in with this message. Another Knight. Yeah, and another page, the page of cups. They want, they're not solid. They're still going to sneak in and then sneak right back off. This person cannot be trusted at all, period, point blank. They cannot be trusted. What is the page of cups? The sun, yeah. They want to, and you, you clearly know that this. Yeah, the queen of swords, you're clear in the fact that this person cannot be trusted. They may be fine, they may be fun, but they are too immature, too childish for you. This could also be someone that you had a child with, okay? What is the Knight of Cups right here? What is the Knight of Cups? You have the Two of Swords. You're cutting this person out. You don't want to deal with them at all. You're done. What is the Eight of Pentacles? Yep, the Lovers. What is the Queen of Wands? What is this Queen of Wands doing? Queen of Wands, please. Yeah, Tower. What is the Ten of Cups? What is the queen? I mean, ten of cups. We have the justice. Yeah, justice is here. This karma here meant for this, for this to occur. This for this foundation to fall because it wasn't built on sturdy ground. What's the empress? What's the empress here? What is the empress? Okay. Yeah, the ace of wands. Somebody could also be pregnant here. But yeah, you're ghosting the situation here. You're going within and you're, yeah, leaving this person out in the cold. You're starting something new. You can create. And you're creating something new. You're creating, you're working on a project here, something passionately here. You're watching something grow for you. And you're happy with just being by yourself. You're not willing to take this person back. I just want to know what this queen of pentacles and the fool is. What's this queen of pentacles and the fool? Yes, yeah, seven of wands. Three of cups. Three of pentacles. Yeah, the higher font and the five of wands. This is somebody that is um, they're in a marriage with in a death. That could be ending here. They could be wanting to end it in here and reconcile with you with this three of cups it could be very defensive toward this person this person could be trying to block them from this new beginning that they're dealing with this wife trying to block them from reconciling with you here starting arguments a lot of jealousy in this marriage here yeah with the death someone wants to end it and come towards you but they're coming towards you childishly you're going yeah you're rejecting this four of cups in the tower it's over with you're manifesting something new and moving forward Loving on yourself and working on your abundance here. You're not studying this person at all. This was a little long. So what's the messages for my Libras here moving forward? What's the messages for my... It says free yourself. Yeah. What's the messages for my Libras, please? What's the advice for my Libras? What's the advice for my Libras? 
and this person? What is the advice for my Libras and this person, please? What is the advice for my Libras and this person? The advice for my Libras and this person, please? We have getting to know each other and honeymoon, yeah. We could be moving on to get getting to know someone new here. Yeah, that could be a soulmate. Yeah, you're moving away from this person, okay? We have, this could be the one, the religious factors with deception at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, seven of swords, this person is a liar. You can't trust them. Calling your soulmate in, attraction, release your ex. This person doesn't want you to release them, okay? <coughs> they could want to, um, okay, this person could feel like your soulmate. They want to travel towards you. They want to get to know each other again. They feel like you could be the one and that you're their soulmate with this lover's card up there. They want to work on the connection. But at the end of the day, it's like, mm -mm. Yeah, Three of Pentacles, Lover in the Eight of Pentacles is the Three of Pentacles. They want to build, they want to work on it with you, but you're like, no, this is over. What's the tower in that Queen of Wands? Yeah, the Page of Swords, because you know the truth. You're cutting through the bullshit. This person could be watching you heavily. Yeah, Nine of Swords in their head because this is over. You've ended the situation, which you should have. So those are the messages I have for you, Libra. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with anyone and everyone, and I'll see y'all in the next.